So Michelle and I are about to board this ferry. It used to be a dive boat actually, and now it's a ferry, and we're heading for Sabu Sabu. Hopefully uh, the seas stay this calm. They're pretty much flat right now, so I don't think Michelle needed to take sea legs or anything, but uh, we'll check back in in Sabu Sabu. Hopefully we get some cool moments along the way. We're in the back of an awesome taxi pickup truck. He's got plenty of storage for all our heavy bags. And uh, we're on our way to Coruscant. Look how fun that is. <laughs> Just got to uh, probably the fanciest hotel we've stayed in yet. Uh, this is the Coruscant. And we had a lovely continental breakfast when we arrived. It was still going on. Um, the ferry ride was good. The taxi cab was a truck and so it went over the dirt roads really good. I think we're having maybe the best day yet. All we got to do now is get some snorkeling in and I'll be happy. Um, here's the cool breakfast area and uh, a bar. You can order drinks from here and then everything over here is actually just on the house so you can like make a sandwich or if you want something fancier you can order it from the bar. So here's a little video tour of just what I'm seeing right now. Lovely pool, questionable clarity. It's an awesome outdoor shower here. I was just like, huh, where's the shower head? And then I look up and it's a rain shower. As you walk into the hotel, you're greeted by this awesome lily pond with some tiny fish in it, probably to keep mosquito larvae out. To be honest, I'm just killing time while Michelle checks in. But uh, here I am walking onto a golf course. Well, so you know there's at least nine holes. Pretty open this time of year. I don't see anybody golfing yet. You can kind of see the wonderful garden bourrees. Kind of nice they have a sign to tell you where this trail leads. And here we are in front of the hotel. Got the horizon. Looks like there is uh, some cool, cool volleyball court and uh, at least a couple tennis courts over there. Check out these Fijian lawnmowers. There's something spooky down there. I don't know what that is. So I guess you can take out any non-motorized vehicle you want. So there's kayaks, paddle boards. This is the activity center right here. This is a lovely sandbar. Pretty cool. Lovely stairs that access this gorgeous waterfront. Mind you, it's low tide right now, so I'm sure at high tide this is all underwater and probably swim right over it. This is one of their pools with uh, awesome clarity. It looks like a swim up bar. I wonder if they're going to open that up today. I know Michelle's gonna be stoked about these hanging beds. That's one thing we didn't quite get to do at our last resort. So I hope maybe we'll watch the sunset on one of these later. Just got checked in to an amazing villa here. We had booked a garden beret, but I guess they sold all the garden berets. So they really hooked us up here with this amazing lighthouse villa. This is our own private kind of area. It's all fenced in. Amazing low tide view right now, but they said it's going to be spectacular in a little bit. I'm sure I'll get some pictures later. This is the main area. As you can see, Michelle sitting here. We have an amazing kitchen bar with full stove, refrigerator. Um, as you see out our back door here. This is our private pool and wonderful deck area right on the bay. We've got one bathroom down here. It's got a shower, a sink, and as you would expect, 
and then nice little sitting area. Here's all our stuff. We just got here. And then the coolest thing is you go up this flight of stairs that's curved. And it reveals this wonderful king size bed with this cool like step up slide almost. Nice bed in front. Um, again, we've got another lovely kind of bay viewing balcony. This is the resort. You can see some over the water bungalows there. Again, it's low tide. But yeah, here's the bed. And then I've got to say, my favorite part of this room so far would be the master bathroom. This opens up, looks like a closet, but it's actually a cool hidden outdoor shower. A little bit of privacy curtain and a bench just in case somebody would like to watch the show. <laughs> We're so happy to be here at Coruscant Resort where we'll be for the next two days. Like a true villa, our <laughs> room has access from the street so we don't even really need to go into the resort if we didn't want to. You could park a car right here and just kind of be on your own schedule. And a cool natural uh, sunlight up here. This is the roof in the bedroom. Uh, pretty awesome. Well, I just took a gnarly spill coming down these stairs behind me. I think I will have a bruise for the rest of the trip. Luckily, my uh, instinctual falling skills let me land on my ass, and uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Michelle and I are about to go for our first snorkel here at the Coruscant Resort. I'm wearing my eight pounds of lead I always bring with me to everyone's dismay, and we're really hoping to see some cool stuff. It's gonna be kinda hard to beat Makaira's snorkeling, but I've got really high hopes for this. First look, we're in a bay, so it is uh, really warm and the water's a little cloudy. We're gonna swim out, hope we see some better stuff.
sandbar and uh, that burger was delicious but the nachos were definitely not Mexican nachos they were Fijian nachos so a little curveball there but one thing I one thing I will say about staying in this villa is it is almost outside the resort it has just like its own private entry and a little bit of a walk from where everything is but it's kind of nice to be secluded I don't know always a little give and take to try to take off the drone i think we're far enough away from the airport so hopefully that works out well and should be a cool sunset flight